So last night, EA began their Champions League Moment promotion by releasing an 88 rated UCL Moment Manolas, and tonight, EA dropped a Europa League Moments Falcao on us. Now, in this video today, we're going to briefly chat about these cards and this promotion as a whole, and then we're going to look at some potential cards that we could see throughout FIFA 19. Just like with the flashback video that I did at the start of the week, this video isn't really a predictions video, it's more of a, a suggestions video, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not saying I think these cards will happen, I'm just suggesting potential cards that maybe we could see down along the line. Anyway, let's first talk about what these cards are given for. Well, they're promoted as moments cards, but the actual item itself is a themed premium SBC card. Um, these cards are going to be given to players who have had a memorable moment or performance in one of the European competitions. It's probably worth me mentioning that players do not have to still be at the same club now as they were when the moment happened. For example, tonight's Falcao card, his Europa League moments card has his current club of Monaco on it, but the moment he got the card for was his performance in a final win uh, for Atletico Madrid. Now, I spoke with some of the EA staff on Twitter last night, and you can go check this out on my feed if you want to. I spoke to them about these cards, and they said that the card types are locked to the moment. So, for instance, if Aaron Ramsey was given a card for his brilliant left-footed volley goal against Galatasaray, he would be given a Champions League moment card, even though Ramsey and Arsenal are not in the Champions League this season. Anyway, moving on. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but I would predict that EA are going to release these cards sporadically throughout the year, probably aligning them with Champions League and Europa League nights, like they have with the Falcao and Manolas that we've had released already. Anyway, I think I've rambled on for long enough now. I just wanted to make sure I explained everything before I got into the player suggestions. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know which players you think could get themselves a moments card in FIFA 19. And if you suggest a player, make sure you explain why as well. Also, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be muchly appreciated. The support on the flashback video was freaking amazing. And it would be great if we could uh, try and replicate that on this video. So without further ado, let's get into things. The first player I want to talk about is Sergio Roberto, and the moment slash reason behind this selection is pretty obvious. Well, it's obvious if you've been watching football in the past like five or so years, and I actually think it's pretty likely that this card will happen at some point in FIFA 19. Back in 2017, if you didn't know, Barcelona were heading into the second leg of their knockout tie against PSG. The first leg ended 4-0, to the French side, so Barcelona were really up against it going into the second leg. They literally had a mountain to climb, but as we now know, Barcelona did it. They came back, they won the second leg 6-1. The aggregate score was actually 5 all in the second leg up until the 94th minute where Neymar picked out Sergio Roberto with a cross and Sergio Roberto put the ball in the back of the net and he completed one of the greatest comeback results ever. This obviously was a huge moment in European football. It's incredibly memorable and in my opinion, uh, in my opinion at least, it fits the promotion perfectly. So do you guys think we'll see a UCL moment Sergio Roberto at some point in FIFA 19? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Next up, we're going to talk about a potential Europa League moment card. Now, I won't lie to you guys, it wasn't easy to find many Europa League moments, so bear with me on these ones. I've gone with a potential Oscar Di Marcos card. Now, first of all, just let me say, if he got another special card, I would 100% get it, because I've had his first in form since it came out, and it's a brilliant right-back card. So a better version of Di Marcos in foot would definitely interest me. But why have I included him in this video? Well... Back in 2012, um, Atletico, Bilbao and Manchester United were drawn against one another in the group stages. As you can imagine, Bilbao went into his tie as underdogs. Despite this, they won the first leg 2-1, but there was still work to be done in the second leg. But um, Bilbao won that too, they won the second leg 2-1. In both games, Oscar Di Marcos scored, his goal in the second leg ended up being a memorable tie ceiling goal, and that is why I've included him. Okay, now let's flip back to the Champions League. Now, I actually spoke about Robin a few days ago in my flashback video. Well, you know, maybe if he isn't destined to get a flashback card this year, maybe he'll get one of these UCL Moments cards. 
The reason behind the Robin selection is very simple. The guy scored the match winning goal in the 89th minute of the Champions League final against Bundesliga rivals Borussia Dortmund. He also got an assist for Lewandowski's goal earlier in the match. A late match winning goal is definitely a memorable moment. But a late winning goal in the Champions League final on the grandest club stage of them all. And it be against a rival side. That is pretty memorable. That is very special. And thus I think Robin would be very deserving um, of one of these UCL moments cards. On this next page is two players. It's two players that could represent the same moment. So maybe EA will choose one of either James Milner or Dejan Lovren should they um, choose to select this moment. Now before I continue, I'd like to just say sorry to uh, any Dortmund fans listening because unfortunately this moment is against Dortmund too. Back in 2016, Liverpool and Dortmund were put against each other in the Europa League knockout stage and the first leg ended in, you know, a pretty normal, pretty standard one or draw. The second leg, however... Well, that was anything but normal. It was a pretty action-packed game that had Dortmund up 2-0 at one point, but Liverpool would later come back. Um, it was another game that featured a late match winner in it as well. Dejan Lovren scored in the 91st minute to seal the tie for Liverpool. So that's why Lovren's on the screen right now. But what about James Milner? Well, he got two assists in this game, and one of them was uh, setting up that Lovren goal. So maybe uh, Milner could get the special card instead. Okay, so the next card on here is a Sergio Ramos card. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think this card will happen due to the potential overall rating of this card, but I can't leave Ramos out of this video since he's had so many memorable Champions League moments. The moment I'm going to use for this selection is going to be the 2014 final, where Ramos scored in injury time to tie the game. Um, he scored a 93rd minute goal which uh, actually sent the game into extra time and that provided Real Madrid with an extra 30 minutes to find a winner and they did that. They scored three times in extra time to win their 10th Champions League trophy. Um, up next we're going to talk about another potential Champions League moments card. This one's pretty simple. It's uh, Leon Kozawa, PSG's fullback. In last season's competition, he became the first defender in the modern competition to score a hat-trick. He got three goals in a 5-0 win for PSG against Anderlecht. That performance isn't just memorable, it's um, it's actually historic really. So uh, yeah, that's why I've included him. So for the next two cards that I'm going to show you guys, I want to make it clear that I don't know if these are possible. They might be, they might not be. I don't know if EA can give a Champions League or Europa League themed card to a player or team who are not in the competition due to licenses. However, for the next two selections, let's assume they can, because if these cards are not blocked by licensing issues, they would be very much deserved, and they do fit into the criteria which we already know to be true. So with that in mind, uh, the next moment we're going to discuss is Jack Wilshere's breakout performance. In 2011, at the Emirates, a player named Jack Wilshere decided to let everyone know who he was by putting in a brilliant performance against the best team in the world at the time, Barcelona. Wilshere didn't score or get an assist in this game, but he put in a brilliant performance, not just for Arsenal fans, not just for England fans, but for football fans as a whole. Yep, I'm an Arsenal fan, and feel free to call me biased for including this pick, but if you're going to call me biased, I will assume that you didn't watch this game, because if you did watch this game, you will know that Jack Wilshere was fantastic in this match. Arsenal would later lose the knockout tie, as Barcelona would win the second leg, um, of this affair but uh, luckily these cards are based on performances and moments and not just the overall result. David Villa is the next player I want to discuss um, so for this one we're going to travel to 2010 it's um, it's Werder Bremen versus Valencia the first leg between these two ended one all the second leg however ended in a 4-4 draw and in that second leg David Villa put in a man of the match performance in which he scored a hat-trick and that hat-trick um, was good enough to get his side a draw and due to away goals uh, Valencia would go through. Okay, so now we've spoken about a bunch of players in depth, I'm now going to rattle off a bunch of cards which were in my notes. So, Atletico Madrid's Saul scored a brilliant solo goal against Bayern Munich in 2016. 
Robert Lewandowski in 2013 was playing for Dortmund and he scored four goals in the first leg of the semi-finals against Real Madrid. Those four goals would ultimately end up putting Dortmund into the final. Bale scored one of the best goals I've ever seen live in last year's Champions League final, so yeah, that's a pretty big moment. And Bakayoko was a key figure in Monaco's Champions League run in 2017. The French midfielder's best moment probably came in uh, Monaco's win against Manchester City. On the flip side, we have Koke, who in the 2016 Europa League final scored twice to help his side beat Liverpool. And we also have Beto, who um, at the time was Sevilla's goalkeeper in 2014. He made two saves in a penalty shootout in the final to help his side win the Europa League. That is a pretty memorable performance for a goalkeeper. One card that I almost forgot to talk about was uh, Adoriz. He scored five goals in one game when uh, Atletico Bilbao beat uh, Genk 5-3. So guys, that's it for this video. You've just seen a bunch of potential UCL or UEL moments cards that we could potentially get in this year's FIFA. Now, I am fully aware I've missed out a lot of moments. I've missed out a lot of players, but this video is getting pretty long already, and I'm sure none of you want to listen to me talk for about an hour about these cards. So I'm going to throw it over to you guys. In the comments below, let me know which players you think deserve to be selected for a European moment card. Also, remember to say uh, why you think that that player should get it as well now obviously in this video I didn't include um, Messi or Ronaldo because both of them have had so many big European moments and I just can't see EA doing an SBC with one of them two as the reward because uh, yeah that would be a pretty mad SBC so that's why I didn't include either of them I actually don't think we'll get that bill that I put in the video just because we had that team of the year bill but um, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Anyway, guys, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be muchly appreciated. I look forward to chatting with you guys in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.